All right, everybody. So what I'm doing right now is uh, this is a 2001 Land Rover Discovery. I've been having issues with this car because uh, once I took the heads off to do a head gasket change, um, my bolt stripped. It came out um, about two of them. One of them is okay now. The other one, I've been waiting for a long time to find a way to fix it, but I have found a way to fix it, and that is with Easy Lock thread fixers. So if you have a Land Rover, you're going to need to use. Uh, let me see. I think that says seven. 16 by 9, 16, 12. Anyways, I got these on Amazon. I did not get the kit because with the kit, it would have been about $50, $47. So I decided just to get the threads and then go to my local auto shop and get the uh, the tools that I needed. So now I went to AutoZone. I mean, not to AutoZone. I went there first and they didn't have this tool. So I have to go to Ace. I got this tap drill. Of course, I don't use a drill. I use this wrench. Now these are screw-ins. These are going to be screwing right into your head once you make a hole with this and a drill. And a drill bit, that's the correct size. Now I'll list uh, um, you know, the parts that you're gonna need and the uh, the repair sizes that you'll need. So here I have put my first one after drilling out the hole right. Um, I put it in just to test it out, but you can't see it, but I can feel it. It sticks out just a little bit more. So that means that I'm gonna have to grab my tap and um, make it a little deeper. So I can put it in a little more and it can be flat and flush. Okay guys, so here I am. This headlight makes everything a lot easier. Um, here's the top. I just finished cleaning it. Make sure that you have a bottle of air, compressed air. Um, I'm using a computer one. It's fine to use a computer one if you can't find one at the automotive section. Um, but anyways, yeah, I just pulled this out of there. Don't forget that when you are making the threads, you're going to have to use some lubrication. So I did not buy any kind of special lubrication. I just used uh, motor oil, but it's, it's brand new motor oil. So I'm not using anything old and gritty and, and nasty. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what the hole looks like now that I made it with my, um, with my wrench and the threading tool. All right, so this bolt hole right here, it used to not have a thread, right? Now it has some kind of thread right there. So we can fit the insert. And the inserts are right here. You're gonna screw in and they're gonna work as a sleeve for then when you put your bolts in, they go in this and it works perfect. Now mine's coming out pretty straight, make sure that it's always straight. You don't want to drill the hole out sideways and then you have to put a bolt sideways. It's not gonna line up when you pull the top head. So what I did is I put this bottom bolt right here. It's not too tight, it's loose. But I put it there just enough so I can um, see if my if my tap was was going sideways or any kind of weird position that would not work, so. All right, that's that. Let's go to the next step. All right, so this is the part right here. I made my hole a little deeper. Now let's do it. See, little, little wedges right in, little holes need to be at the top. You gently put it in, make sure that you feel that it's going in, feel that it's screwing in right, smoothly. Usually this, these sleeves come with a kit, they come with a tool that you can trim this with. In the case of me not buying the whole kit, um, I have to find other ways to do it. So I'm using a feeler gauge because it's it's wide enough to fit in there so that I could turn it. As you can see, now it's flush, right? Look, now that's flush. There it goes, man. This is what I'm talking about. Now it's in, right? Now that, that was a bolt hole that was stripped, broken. So I couldn't even put a head bolt on it. Now let's pick up one of my head bolts and put it right there. I'm gonna clean it really quick just to make sure I don't get any dirtiness in there. Okay, we're back in here. What I did was I, I blew it with my air because air is gonna be your, your best friend when you do things like this. You don't want any dirt getting in between and getting in your thread and you feel that it's all gritty and messing up your thread. It's just disgusting feeling. It touches your heart. Anyways, get a can or get a regular compressor for your air if you have a full shop. Also some degreaser. I like the foam in one, pushes up the dirt, all that kind of crap. I also use a, a rag so I can get in between right there with the fine fibers and uh, get the dirt out. So I wanna put a little bit of oil in here. And let's get it. It's not going in yet. Oh, it looks like it is. Oh, look at that. Look at that beauty. That's not going anywhere. That's a full official 
bolt right there. All right, so I put a bolt in here. I put it in all the way, make sure it's, it's snug, not too tight though. You don't want to mess anything up. And then I did the same on the other side. Now you visually inspect them, kind of feel them, put something flat on top and then just, um, you know, make sure that they go in about the same way. Um, as for now, that's it. I don't have any other head hole that is, uh, that is broken. The other ones might be a little damaged, but they still, they still screw on, you know? So I don't need to remove it and do anything else. I'm good right now. I'm gonna save my tools. I'll put the list on the description of the tools that you need, where I got my parts. Um, but yeah, you don't need to get fancy. There you go, so that's a hemp bolt on my V8. That's the only thing that was keeping my, my car from being fixed for about six months. Um, this is all you really need to, to create a thread. Um, there are other tools like that. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a flat. It looks like a little key type of thing. Um, but this is what you need. You insert it in there. You make sure that it, it, it sits even on all sides. Then you start to slowly put some pressure in and start to turn it with your wrench and uh, while putting some oil as you turn, stopping every once in a while to put a little bit of oil. Now I'll be able to machine my heads, level them out, put everything in there with some head gaskets, and I should be fine. So um, that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know, okay? That song is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try.